here's my pride and joy, the, uh, the lathe. I actually set this workshop up because I inherited this lathe from my father. It's a 1953 Boxford Model A lathe. That's old but good one, really solid English lathe. It's actually a copy of um, the South Bend lathe, which was an American design about the 1920s onwards. And this is a 1953 model. This is a series of tutorials intended really for the beginner, as I consider myself a beginner really. Although this is my father who uh, taught engineering at the small high school, a small town where I grew up. And uh, I took his classes for four years in engineering practice using a lathe like this, in fact this very lathe. Another class in uh, technical drawing and also a series of classes on engineering theory including metallurgy and how metals are prepared, uh, how they're hardened and tempered and that kind of thing, uh, and what the different kinds of alloys were. So that was my introduction and uh, since then I haven't done any practical engineering apart from some hobby work and only recently inherited the lathe when Dad died at the age of 94. So before I go any further and just uh, briefly I'd like to give a tribute to my father. He started uh, working on trucks when he was about seven years old. In fact, actually, the local policeman gave him permission to drive when he was seven years old. And he was still driving at the age of 94, which is 87 years of driving. So motor vehicles played a big role in his life. Um, of course, in the 1920s, there were no motor mechanics around to repair vehicles, so they had to, had to set up their own engineering workshop and learn how to do their own engineering maintenance and repair. And so this was a good training ground for him. And when it came to the Second World War, they needed people to repair aircraft. And he was head of aircraft maintenance unit in the Pacific Islands. And by the end of the war was um, an officer as a uh, lieutenant, or lieutenant, as they say in the British Army or Air Force. So um, that wasn't such a huge part of his life, apart from having a big impact. Um, but in these photos, we see him as a, a young man and uh, then the engineering workshop where he worked uh, just after the war at the end of the war in Hamilton New Zealand and then his wedding photos and followed by some photos just prior to his death at the age of 94 and uh, he was a very special person of course and to me uh, he started actually training programs for motor mechanics in New Zealand and taught and set examinations for them uh, and was still doing that in his mid-80s. And even when he was 93, he was um, uh, working with the university on uh, deciding which students should get scholarships. So enough of that about my dad, and let's get on with a real topic, which is um, how to use a lathe. 